All right, with this West 2 Facebook Live update, I'm Chief Meteorologist Tony Manalpi. Hope you guys are having a great day. Boy, I'll tell you what, we have uh, a lot of ground to cover tonight, especially when it comes to the uh, the tropics. want to get everybody up to speed on what's going on, where we're at, and uh, where things are headed uh, down in the tropics. We'll do that here in uh, just a second. Let me go ahead and share this over here real quickly. Nissa and Marie, good to have you there. Michelle Atardi. Uh, good to have you as well as we uh, take a look now at what's going on. Downtown Terry Brown has popped in. Uh, Faith Richard, Tina O'Wedding, uh, Colleen O'Neill. Uh, good to have each and every one of you uh, folks in here tonight with us on Facebook Live as, uh, again, the tropics are indeed uh, getting uh, busy here all of a sudden and a little bit uh, earlier than what we're accustomed to. Darlene Bynes, Gotcha Feed Weimer, uh, Lulu, Bill Callis. Lori Payne Roberts, Juan Melendez, Mike Long, Ken Riddle, Gerardo Lopez, Chris Myers, Connie Miller, uh, Gerardo Lopez, Wingman in the Sauce, La Chena Nicole De Lior. Uh, good to have you. Appreciate you uh, popping in and, and, and saying hi with us tonight and uh, getting the update on the, on the tropics here. Let me do this one other share here. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Bada bing, bada boom. And then we'll get rocking and rolling. Emily West has popped in as well. Uh, love the red tie. Thank you, Juan. Uh, Joyce Negron has popped in. Joyce, good to have you there. I uh, hope you guys are having a, a wonderful uh, afternoon and evening here. Uh, hopefully, man, red. I'm getting all these compliments on this red tie. Love that. Uh, Tammy Turnage, we need rain in Daytona. I'm doing good, Ra Raul. Thank you. Uh, Tammy Osho Sersvenek, uh, good to have you there. Uh, let's see, we got Mikey Long has popped in. Good group. A lot of folks in here. Love this. Extra special. All right, so here's what's going on. We've got, uh, let's flip to the tropics here. Get this puppy rocking and rolling. Show you guys what's going on. Uh, we are out for a lakefront walk. So I'll be in and out. You do your thing. Exercise is good, E West. No more stay. Get it done. Tell Jacob I said hi too, by the way. Molly Johnson. Uh, hey, Tony. Having a great evening. Uh, my trusted weatherman and inspirational daily thoughts. <laughs> my trusted weatherman. Gerardo Lopez has popped in. Downtown Jerry Brown. Sipping on wine. Red, red wine. Donald Lutomsky. Thought today's weather was great. Uh, Dawn Marie Letteri has popped in. Donnie, Donnie Doodle. Good to have you there. Uh, don't forget my motto. Sharing is caring. The more people we can reach by you guys sharing these Facebook live feeds. More people we can put in the weather. No. Hey, Tony, hope all is great. Tina Blair saying, hey, Tony. Monty Gomes. Yes, he says, cool. I want to hear you say hi. Jacob, thank you there, big dog. Ron Misak. Uh, Candy, hope you have a good day. Candy, I am. Margaret, Peggy, Nowell. Hi, gosh, it's Tuesday already. Uh, thank you, Tony Manolfi. We appreciate Renee, funk, do the funk, funk, do the funk, funk. Uh, tell that husband and those kids of yours I said hi. Paula Cole, Colleen O'Neill. Sonia Rogers Blank Blankenship. All right, let's get into some weather here. Enough of the shenaniganery. We got to rock and roll. All right, let's talk tropics here. So here's what's going on. The seventh depression of the season uh, was named today. A little unusual to get a seventh named storm or depression uh, this early in the season. Usually that happens in September. Juan, Scotty. Uh, thank you, Scotty. Kealoe Moon has popped in. Lori Roberts is drinking the beer. Hopefully it's Estella. Uh, hope for Longwood. Uh, for rain. Uh, Shenanigan. <laughs> uh, some people are picking them on me already. But they don't pick on you unless they love you. That's all I know. Uh, beautiful Bree says Kealoe. Lynn Cov uh, Cavill. Cavill. Hey, Tony. Lynn, Lynn, good to have you. By the way, if you're a newbie, a first time around here, I need to know. We'll give you some love in here. Paula LaRoz Cox is not a newbie. Lynn Coville. Uh, Lynn, are you, uh, are you a newbie? All right, so there's the track. Notice it gets a little bit stronger and then a little bit weaker. And there's a couple reasons for that. And I'm going to kind of go over this here in a second. John Johnson, Mary Richard. Uh, there's our storm. It's a tiny little thing. It's, it's really tiny. But sometimes those small storms can intensify real quickly, but they can also weaken real quickly. Now, there's going to be some upper-level wind shear and some drier air here in the eastern uh, Caribbean. So we're going to watch that three, four, five days out. Here's a look now at the latest computer model tracks and trends. Decent agreement here. I'm going through the southeastern Caribbean, and then kind of moving off towards the west or the west-northwest. A little bit of a divergence here 
uh, with this particular tropical depression, soon to be Gonzalo, by the way, the next name storm, as it pulls off uh, towards the Central Caribbean. Part of the camp wants to go up towards Kingston. The other camp wants to go due west into Nicaragua uh, and, and, and in that general vicinity. Uh, let me break this down for you even more and kind of show you what we've got. So there's Wednesday. R remember now, plenty of time to watch us. Medallia Medina, uh, good to have you in here. Uh, there's a look now at the tracks. There's Saturday. Notice what's going on. Kind of getting two camps. The southern camp. And then the northern camp, which kind of goes more towards the west-northwest, which could be, you know, potentially making a beeline for Cancun. So that's something we'll kind of figure out here over the next couple of days. The bigger question, though, is 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 this going to survive once it gets past the Windward Islands? And that's that's kind of what we're going to be watching here, Jenna, Mary, Mike, and Maribel. So just FYI, this for now is not going to go over Puerto Rico, as as we see it right now. Now, one thing I do want to show you is the intensity forecast uh, and and there are a few computer models that do take this up to a cat one and a cat two hurricane I'm not in that camp yet I, I think we need to uh, fly some missions in there we don't fly uh, that far east um, uh, into storms it's, it's just not necessary nor cost efficient uh, but needless to say that's something that we're going to be watching uh, marisol good to have you you guys know my motto too sharing is caring. The more people we can reach by you guys sharing uh, these Facebook live feeds, the more people we can put in the weather know and kind of reduce the anxiety. Stephanie Marie, good to have you. Dale, you know, Jean, Jojo, uh, Hernandez. Uh, so there you go. Stella looks good. All right, so there's our, there's our little feature right here. Now notice the red. That's the drier air. And notice these arrows. That is easterly wind shear. Uh, and then there's a little south, there's a northeast to southwest wind shear corridor once this low gets into the to the Windward Islands. So there's some obstacles here is what I'm trying to politely tell you guys. You can see we also have another invest, but let's get back to uh, this guy and, and look at the symmetry. Look at, look at the, it is a tightly little wound feature right there. And then we got another little feature that's just now coming off the, the coast of Africa. And we've been talking about these water temperatures needing to be better or higher than uh, 80 degrees to kind of get this tropical development going. William, Sissy, Lillian, uh, Gerardo, good to have you guys. Uh, so that's a, a pretty good-looking little feature right there. Here it is right there. It is over a corridor where we have waters of about 82 degrees. So that's certainly warm enough uh, for uh, a continuation of gradual strengthening. There's no doubt about that. JoJo, Charles Bragg, gotcha. Bobby Alexander, Jamie Pennington, you be safe. Melanie Melendez, I'm doing good. Favorite color tie, she says, the red. Now, that other wave coming off is over some marginally cool water, upper 70s, not quite 80. Again, we're talking about this wave right in here. There's the Cabo Verde Islands. And remember, in here, we're right around the 80-degree mark. So, uh, again, uh, usually it's August where we start worrying about these storms, but the waters are running a few degrees above normal this year, so we have to watch this sooner rather than later this year. You can see the, the bright red there, and that's uh, plus two degrees warmer than normal. That may not seem like a lot, but for tropical development, when you're talking about 76 versus 78 or 78 versus 80, can make a big difference in how a storm could potentially develop as it's crossing over a, a warm corridor region there. So, and in July, here's what we got. We got uh, Eastern Caribbean, which is... Uh, where we're thinking here, but although the track may be south of there, uh, the northwestern Caribbean and the Gulf, and uh, the, through the Bahamas. So there we go. Now, the next name storm, for those of you that may have missed it, is Gonzalo. Gonzalo is going to be the next name storm. Uh, Florida safe on all these storms. John, for now, it does, uh, does appear to be that way. Let's go to the Invest 91 here uh, for you. There's another little disturbance. Uh, this one is going to actually increase the overall rainfall uh, across uh, our area uh, this evening and tomorrow, especially west of I-4. So there we go. Uh, so Lillian, it, it, there is another uh, shot of dust, but I think with the, the these storms starting to go now, we're going to see less and less of that. Now, let, let's take a look at this imagery here of Invest 91. 
Now there's the line kind of moving off towards the west, maybe the west, northwest. But you can see all the, the deep moisture in the wake of this feature. Everything is on the eastern side. But some of this moisture is going to creep north. And that is going to give us a better chance, I think, for some rain here as we head into uh, uh, the next 24 to 48 hours. All right, starting to get some other model data. Uh, we got the AVN and the AMI uh, in there, uh, some tropical models there. Those are getting a little bit uh, north of Corpus Christi now and south of Houston. Uh, so that's a trend that we'll be watching as it pulls off a pretty good clip here to the west-northwest at 20 miles an hour. Put those storms in hold for a while, Tony, please. Renee, I'm going to do my best, but I tell you what, seven named storms, it's not even August the 1st. The seventh named storm usually comes in September. September. Uh, so uh, we are way above where we should be. And at this rate, uh, we're going to go Greek. What do I mean by that? Uh, we may have to use the Greek, the Greek alphabet as we did in 2005. Uh, Alexandra, Mary, Jeanette Morales, uh, good to have you guys in here. Appreciate you. But again, so the tropics indeed are uh, pretty active and pretty busy. We'll have to watch Texas here. Uh, and, and speaking of which, let's go ahead and do this. So here's a look at the feature. Listen, I just want my Saturday night to be perfect. No rain, says Melanie. Mel, I think you're going to get your wish. I really do. Uh, being sincere when I say that. You, look at this moisture. You can see this moisture getting pulled northwest on the northeastern side. And as this storm pulls to the west, we had some of that moisture here coming towards Houston. We'll watch a, maybe a one-two whammy for portions of Texas, although the central coast down in here can really use some rain. Uh, they've been pretty dry. Uh, but for us, you can see some of this moisture trying to sneak on up on the northeast side of this storm. So there we go. Uh, got you, Alejandra. Lynn, Jennifer Ducey, Mary Richard, 3 nothing, huh? Nice. Tisha's in the house. Tisha, good to have you. Uh, so when we take a look at our forecast here, and what's going on? Look at the radar here. We do have a, a few showers. Look like a few thunderstorms here. A short time ago, Cal is going to get wet. Bellevue getting some good rain. Had a couple little thunder boomers over them. A few more showers popping up here in Polk City. And then notice here some rain towards Vero Beach. So, again, we're watching that as well. Mm -hmm. All right, and rain is good because we're going to take a look at how dry we are in central Florida. Here you go. Uh, 11 and a half inches behind in Leesburg, 8 inches behind in Sanford. So, again, we need the rain. Now, tomorrow, we're going to get some showers and some storms. Uh, Kimberly Jeanette and Tracy Bosch are both in the house. Good to have you guys. You guys know my motto. Sharing is caring. The more people we can reach by you guys sharing uh, these Facebook live feeds, the more people we can put in the weather. No, Vicki Allen Fowler. I have two names in this year, Nana and Vicky. Ooh, we got to watch Vicky. All right, Vix, appreciate that. We'll keep you posted on that. Sharon Cochran, Orlando Brennis. Uh, yep, that's right. Uh, Christina Gramnikas, Michael Estep has popped in. Mikey, good to have you there. So let's take a look now at this short range forecast. Kind of break this down. So that low, that invest, 91 is pulling west. Showers and storms with us. Uh, Alejandro, yep, so you're behind a good bit. So there you go. Uh, rainfall chances here. Lower east, higher west with this setup. Clifford Mor uh, Mori, uh, good to have you there, my friend. Thanks for popping in. Uh, the hour by hour, as we take a look now at Futurecast, you can see showers pretty much off and on through a good chunk of the day. Victor Pearson, I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. Thomas Jackson, uh, at least he's uh, that, that's better, Thomas. We're going in the right direction for sure. Uh, off and on periods of rain tomorrow. Coming along today, so I'm ready to go. Port Orange needs some more rain, says Vicky. Christina, I appreciate you. Uh, Henry C. Brennis. Gerardo's popped in. Now, as far as rainfall amounts are concerned for tomorrow, some isolated pockets of close to an inch. If you're underneath one of those uh, heavier downpours, and tropically speaking, you can get a good amount. Uh, so there you go. Uh, tomorrow's forecast high temperatures going like this. There you go, 90 to 91, a couple upper 80s there in Brevard County. Uh, the Bowdoin Beach forecast, for those of you maybe headed over there tomorrow, the wind southeast 10 to 15, 
Water temperatures are warm. Uh, Raul, you're going to get your wish. Uh, seas three to four feet. Hazards, the rips in the seas. There you have it. Uh, so let's take a look now. There's that invest pulling off to the west. In its wake Thursday and Friday. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. Uh, Melanie, you're welcome. Juliet uh, Quintero. There you go. Love that. Ayu me. Hey, Tony, rain right here in Japan. Missing Florida weather. Can't say well. Ayu, I, I, thank you. Over there in Japan. Uh, Rachel Marie has popped in. Rachel, how you doing, girl? How's uh, South Florida treating you, by the way? Red snapper biting now. Tis the season. Uh, Jerry Faye Galen, do you think we're looking? Uh, Jerry, I, you know, I think there will be a hurricane in Florida before the season is over. Yes. Buenos noches to you, Rosie. Um, I don't think these next two, though, are going to be a problem for uh, Florida. So that's the good thing. Haley Riggs, there you go. She's loving that. Uh, the weekend, everybody's working for the weekend. Hazy, hot, and humid. There's your showers and a few storms. Sammy the Bull has popped in. Perla, my daughter, likes the new young weather guy in the weekend. <clears throat> What's your daughter's name? Uh, Perla the Ross Cox. <laughs> Perla, it's so cute. I don't know if you talked about it. I don't know if we can take a look. Uh, Victor, yeah, we're going to go back over that. So there we go. Uh, all right, back to the tropics. Here we go. Big story today is Tropical Depression 7. Tropical Depression 7. Uh, Alexa. Alexia. Alexa. There we go. LOL. Nutella. So there, there's our... Funny in a good way, I hope. Yes, very funny. Uh, Sandy Hakes, what's up, my man? All right, so there's TD7. This is going to become uh, Tropical Storm Gonzalo, most likely by tomorrow. Marie Gonzalez, my day was good. Thank you for asking. Appreciate that. Abby Fallon has popped in. Terry Young Shook, good evening to you. There's our, our little cone, so to speak, in our track of our storm. Uh, we'll take a look down at the depression itself. And you can see, getting a little uh, develop, little burst of thunderstorms there. Nancy Yvette, Tammy Oshel. There we go. Heading to Houston. Uh, the first wave is, yes. Too early to make that call in the second one. There's a, there's a, a look now at the latest computer model trends and tracks, as you can see there. West to west, northwest in the short run. May try to curl more towards the west, northwest, towards the end. Um, I'm not a big Nutella fan. Well, it's been, yeah, we're, we're global here, Millie. We don't fool. We're not. We're, look, we're a first rate operation here, Millie. Get it together, lady. Come on. <laughs> Millie loves you. A chocolate cream pie. Mm, I love that. Um, yeah, we're, we're international. We're global. You know, Japan, I love that. Uh, Raul, could be better, could be rainy. Uh, Sherry Budnick, good to have you there. All right, so let's 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 kind of roll this out gradually and slowly. Aster is watching. Tina Hale, love you guys up there in Aster. For those of you that do not know where Aster is, it's in the northwest nook there of, of Volusia County. So there's a look now at our models. Two camps towards the end. One going into Kingston. The other going down towards Guatemala. Louis Almond's in the house. Cousin is here from Norway. She, oh, hello, cousin from Norway. Uh, Miami is kicking butt. Alexa, how do you say hi in Norwegian? Hi, in Norwegian. Hi. Okay, it's hi. Lorraine, Cruz, Juanita Jimenez, Don LaPierre Cordes. Okay. Yeah, don't off and on fast moving showers, but um, you know, just bring a poncho and you'll be good to go. Now, as far as the intensity forecast go, uh, with this particular tropical depression, there are a few uh, models that are indicating that this could become a hurricane. So that's why we need you guys to keep checking back in, and of course, we'll give you the updates on on what to expect. Can we net it too late? Good to have you there. Um, Melly Yum, Ada Diaz Yum, Maria Gonzalez, uh, Seminoles. There we go. 
Somebody's a fan of the Sevens. All right, closer to home. Uh, Sue Taylor got some rain today. Awesome sauce. Uh, 30 to 40 percent chance of this one developing while well, moving off towards the west northwest. Uh, Rika is ready to fly into this one tomorrow if need be. If need be. Let's take a look now at the latest information here for you. And you can see there's our system pulling off towards the west northwest. Jessica Vasquez. Jesse, JV, what up, girly girl? Um, so there you go. Go Gators, says Perla. Uh, Colleen O'Neill, Boo Hiss, LLL. Uh, Angel Diaz. Angel. Angel. Good to have you there, my friend. Nice. Look at Sammy. No yawning. That's contagious, says Bobby Alexander. Maria Gonzalez. Dina Androsoff has popped in. So there's a look now at uh, where this puppy is. Where it's headed, it's kind of going more towards the west here uh, this afternoon. But when we take a look at the computer models, uh, my connection stinks today. Pay out. So sorry to hear that uh, there, young lady. Hang in there, girl. Hopefully we'll come back for you. Hi from Ocala, says Maria Gonzalez. Uh, let's see here. Tammy Oshel. Hi, Rob. You guys are all clicking and connecting with each other. I love that. Uh, Victor, you know, in the short run, I don't think it's going to fizzle out. I think once it gets to the Windward Islands and then gets west of there, then that could be an issue. Uh, oh, Melly, nice. You tell you tell, uh, you tell the hubby, Gerardo, I said hi, okay? Gerardo, if you're listening, hey, Uncle Tony says hi. Henry C. Barnes, Tony, you see storms coming down. Uh, the storms are, uh, yeah, they're headed towards Tallahassee. That is correct. Uh, so we'll watch that. So there's the next track. All right, let's take a look at the Florida radar. A couple questions about Tallahassee. Brenda Burke has popped in. OMG. Uh, <laughs> uh, Wendy Diaz, hello from St. Cloud. Uh, Wanda Mar, good to have you there. Appreciate you popping in. Uh, okay, Tony Monofi, got to the name of the first report. First report. Hmm. Ken Riddle. You tell me. I'm not sure. I don't want to guess. Uh, storms up here. There they are. Boom. They're falling apart. So that's good news for Tallahassee. Uh, bigger picture. Here, outside. Showing a beautiful sunset. Beautiful sunset. Look at that boat cruising by there. Do we have St. Pete? We do have St. Pete. Look at that shot. That is gorgeous. We have Ocala. We do have Ocala. Wow, we're three for three. Brittany Stites. Uh, Henry C. Barnes. Storms are not coming our way as of now. Britt, so you're good to go. Uh, Brenda Rook, yes. Gotcha, 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 mama, gotcha. Oh, there's Melbourne. World Center Drive. Look at those. Q on the horizon. Whoa, we got a lot of cams tonight here. Mm, DC. We do not have Daytona Beach. Darn it. Dang damn it. Here's the Kennedy Space Center. And downtown. So there we go. All right. Uh, headed to Co Coquina Beach tomorrow. Um, a few showers, a few storms, but everything is moving so fast. Uh, I would say go and enjoy yourself. Absolutely. Jennifer Carlisle. Uh, Sheminauer, good to have you there, Jenny C. So we have pretty strong cold front actually up here across the upper Midwest. Uh, Going to bring some cooler weather to the northern tier of states only. In fact, you take a look at what's going on in the mid 70s in Minneapolis. How about that? Ooh, uh, let's see. Brittany, what's your special? Thank you, Bobby Alexander. And Thomas Jackson, thank you. Oh, yeah, says Mary. So there you go. Temperatures around the good old U.S. of A. A little cooler, mid, upper 70s. Great Lakes in northeast New England. Toasty elsewhere. 80s, 90s, and 100s. Look at Vegas in the southwest. Uh, Belize, ja, Jamie Lewis Underwood. He is back in the house. Jamie, where you been, buddy? 
been a long time. Long time no see. Good to have you, my friend. Uh, let's talk TD7 with you here. Here it is. So for my my man in Belize, Melbourne's in the house, Lori and Ralph, uh, you guys need to watch it. That's the bottom line. It's definitely pointing in your general vicinity. Uh, but there are some obstacles. You know, we're going to have a little bit of dry air, a little bit of wind shear across the Caribbean once it gets in there. And that's why you can see, for now, the Hurricane Center is weakening this particular feature. Uh, so we'll, we'll continue to watch that there for you, my friend. I want you to keep checking back in. Have your buddies and your pals down there in Belize. Uh, follow me and look for my updates. Uh, there's the system there. Uh, we take a look at the models. For Bobby Alexander, some of you between Ocala. Aha, Bobby's in Ocala. There we go. So there's a look at that. Now, when we do the models here, Jim, Jack, Johnny, Red. Mm. <laughs> I'll take a Jack and Coke, Britt. Thank you. Uh, there we go. So Belize City. So two two. Two tracks towards the end there. One headed towards the south of Belize, the other coming at you or just to your northeast. So we're going to have to watch that from my man in Belize City. And I do appreciate you popping in and saying hi tonight down there in Belize. Uh, so there you go. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. Now, let me show you the windshield. Uh, you're welcome, Colleen. Uh, Jay Eckerson here. Jay, good to have you. So there's our storm. It's a tiny one. As it moves west, it's dry air and a little bit of northeasterly wind shear. That could help to weaken this one down the road. Thanks, Britt. Tip of the bartender. There you go. Virtual tip from a virtual girl. Uh, 2020 named storms. Gonzalo. Again, Gonzalo is the next named storm. Thomas, love that. Uh, Juanita Jimenez. Good night, Maribel. So, yeah, so that's what we're looking at right there. There it is. 91, 91, 92, 93. So steady she goes there uh, over the next seven days. Chemistry in high school, my only Aha! Teaching chem Jamie's teaching uh, chemistry right now. Love that, Jamie. Nice. Gina Orban, good to have you there. Karen Michelle has popped in. Carol Michelle. Carol Michelle. Carol Michelle. So there's your seven day right there. You can kind of see what's going on. And guys, thank you for sharing the feed tonight. Again, the more people we can reach by you guys sharing these feeds, the more people we can put. Uh, in the weather, no, and that's what this is all about. We want to keep everybody in the weather, no. If it's not coming our way, we can reduce your anxiety. If there's severe weather coming your way, whether it be a severe weather, a tornado, a severe thunderstorm, again, we can give you a heads up on that as well. But you have to like the page or, and follow the page to get those uh, automatic notifications, just FYI. Mm -hmm. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, rain chances are there. We are in our wet season, as you guys know. Uh, hey, Tony, we got Shelly Schneider Sanchez, Pamela Jaquez Lopez. Love that. Look at that. You guys are rocking it. Uh, Don Gonzalo. Well, Jamie, well, that's what we're hoping, but it's it's doing pretty good tonight. Hanging in there tough, so we'll we'll see. We'll see. Marissa Zeters. Uh, good to have you there, Marissa. The Ginger Jester Winther. Uh, Ginger from Port Orange is in the house. MDG. Uh, DeAngelis and Kenny Godley has popped in. Stormy weather in Florida. Yeah, this is our wet season. We get those daily afternoon showers uh, and those thunderstorms. So, again, one last look at the tropics, and then we'll uh, bid you adieu and uh, get ready for the 10 and 11. So there you go, tropical depression 7. Moving on to the west, some gradual strengthening into a tropical storm. Nice little burst of thunderstorms tonight around that small core. Uh, the models take this storm again west in the short run. So much excitement, says Lauren. Um, and, and then, uh, you know, there there are a few models that uh, bring this up to hurricane intensity. So, I, again, need you guys to keep checking back in. 
on that closer to home closer to Florida uh, there's a look at uh, invest 91 this one has the potential to develop as well kind of struggling a little bit today uh, and moving off to the west northwest so you can see some showers and some storms there and down across southwest Florida uh, but it will continue to pull west northwest towards Texas uh, towards the end of the work week so that's kind of what we're thinking there uh, from a tropical standpoint again uh, water temperatures uh, <clears throat> between Africa and the uh, the Windward Islands are running about one to two degrees above normal so uh, again another reason why we're going to be watching uh, TD7 here as we go through the next couple of days Sue you're welcome Dawn Marie uh, good night to you uh, uh, Ken it, it very well may be uh, we're in the seventh name storm albeit a tropical depression uh, typically the seventh name storm does not come until September so we are a little bit ahead of the curve here uh, at this pace we may be going to the Greek alphabet like we did in 2005 uh, Patrick Sutton again TD7 we'll watch it uh, likely to stay south of Florida and invest 91 likely to head towards Texas so there you go uh, <clears throat> Uh, Andrew Leeper says hi. Zane Hutchinson saying hi. Uh, let's get this guy some stats here real quick. Again, TD7. West, west, northwest at 8. Winds are at 35. Pressure's at 1,009 millibars. All right, let me wrap this up with a look at <clears throat> uh, the seven-day uh, forecast. There you go. You can see steady she goes. Rain chances 40 to 60% right through the weekend. Afternoon highs running 91 to about 93, with overnight low temperatures running uh, in the mid-70s. All right, you guys are a great group. Don't forget to share and like the page. Appreciate your, all the good feedback here. And, uh, again, I'll be back on the air with Everything Tropics tonight at 10 on the CW18. And, again, at 11 on Watch 2 News. And I do my Facebook Lives each night here at 8 o'clock. Uh, so, again, you might want to check those out, especially if you're uh, doing some vacationing elsewhere. You guys have a great night. We'll be right back here again tomorrow night around 8 and tonight at 10 and 11 on Watch 2 News. Toodles.